Hi Hello, everyone. everyone, I'm Kayla and I'm Lauren and this is Stitching with my Littley floss tube number 34. So it's been a while, um, life goes on so they say, um, but we are at a different place again, mm -hmm. uh, we're back at the caravan, we have literally just arrived and I do mean just arrived, uh, but we thought we'd grab our stuff before we left so that we could get this uh floss tube done because we are uh, i think it's a few a a months month, nearly a month. um and we're away here at the caravan for like 10 days now so it wouldn't get done for another week or so and we have a little bit to show you but we've got um lauren's had quite a bit of stitchy kindness for her uh -huh. birthday so we wanted to show you so she can start using things mm -hmm. as well and, and we can put things away so um welcome to any new subscribers um or viewers we are a channel mainly about cross stitch uh sometimes you might see some other crafts but mainly cross stitch really mm -hmm. um and if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back and spending some time with us. We really do appreciate it. So um, we're going to get going. We have some fully finishes, some finishes, new starts, whips, whips, all the usual. We've got some haul. Like I said, Lauren's got stitchy kindness. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a on little with bit it. of life update. Yeah, we're gonna get on with it because being at the caravan I really don't have um a lot of either signal or 4G or internet to be able to upload an extremely long video like I would at home so we are recording this on Friday the 25th of October whether or not it actually gets up to you anytime soon uh, mm. uploaded is a different matter but we are actually recording it on friday the 25th of october so we are going to get going with some fully finishes lauren has more than me so because i fully finished more for her than i did for me so i'll start so, you know, yeah you start okay so first one is uh mouse's halloween stitching by tiny modernist and did it in a pillow because I didn't actually know which one I what finish I wanted to do this in but I just decided to go for a pillow in the end so it's using all the DMC called for threads and it was done on like a green 14 count and then there's the back so we use like an orange with like green spots yeah, that was from um, abacon last yeah. year in their halloween section like a fat quarter mm -hmm. and, and then that. some pumpkin felt and then scissor charm and a 2024 charm as well so that was the first one should i do another one or? yeah go for it yeah. um so this is the second one uh, I think this is called October 9 Patch. Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? By, by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And here's what it looked like. Yeah, you finished that quite a while ago, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so you'll notice in the bows, some of the top ones are black and the bottom ones are purple because I just decided to do it a little bit different, a little freestyle. And then this tombstone... It's from it's the work, from, yeah. isn't it? But I just painted it grey. Yeah, it was then, like £2 or something. Yeah, I think so. And then we added like a little broom stick on there, stuck on by glue. Yeah, they're, um, I think I got them from Amazon or something when I was, I was looking at Doll's House uh, broomsticks, mm. or because they obviously miniature then, so they come smaller, so... yeah. And then this is like spider web fat quarter. So I really like that one. Are you going to do yours? Or should I do that? Okay, well, I've you only got yours. one. I had loads to prepare. We had a couple of framed ones and things, mm -hmm. but things happened when I got distracted, so they ain't going to get done now. But, um, so I've got 
this one, which is... Mm, it doesn't come prepared. It's Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Is it a trick-or-treat one? No. I will put it down below. Oh, I'm just not Sorry. I'm not going to lean on the table. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember. It's like a stamped one or pop. Pen Pals, I think it is a Pen Pals one, but I will put link it below because I wasn't prepared. Sorry, but yeah, I've done this on um the tomb a tombstone one as well, but I had a bit more of a nightmare painting this one because I wanted a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a sparkly, mm -hmm. uh silver paint which we had at home, but it took. It was a nightmare to cover the brown wooden effect on that. So it took a fair few amount of things. But um, so I covered it in the same orangey that, uh, oh, fabric yeah. that Lauren's pillow is in. Um, and then we just had some of these wooden... Um, what's called them? Wooden decorations. <laughs> Yeah, little wooden Halloween decoration thing. So Lauren painted a couple of these to put mm -hmm. in the blank space above. And then on the back, I just have a 2024 charm because I had a bit of ghost um, felt that we picked up from Abacan as well. So I didn't feel like I needed another charm on that one. So, yeah, I will put put down below or in the description notes I always put what we've worked on as well so I might put that there so mm -hmm. okay so uh, right. one of my next ones is the happy hedgeween one by AZ family zoo I really like this one so that's the back so it's got like ghosts pumpkins cats spiders and it's all like in Halloween colour really. And then another pumpkin felt. Because obviously it's got pumpkins in there. And then I chose like a ghost charm. And then a 2024 one as well. So that's that one. We stuff all our pillows with just normal stuff in don't we? Yeah. yeah. And then this one is probably my favourite one. So... This is Beetlejuice by, I can never say her name, Brianna. Brianna Lent, I think it is. It was a freebie chart that um, Maggie from Homemade on the Ridge. We don't know anything today. <laughs> Lauren's just going to just gonna pick up. Yeah. So I did it in a purple fabric and like a grey DMC variegated. And then Maggie did a black and white frame, hand painted frame. Um, so I kind of copied her idea a little bit and did it on a wooden thing instead. I'm knocking the thing. Oh. Uh, so white, black, white, black. And then a bow with a little black button. And then these are the wooden things again. So I chose Boo and a ghost. So I painted them as well. And then the back is just the little ghost felt with the 2024 charm. And you can see there where the glue disaster happened if you watched. Was it last one? Last video? I think so, yeah. But the glue it. shot across there, so you can see that. Yeah, we kept it on there. Somebody said you could uh, try and use a nail file to get it out, but... You go. You won't really see the back. We kept anyway. on that because it's funny. Yeah. So there we go. There are my fully finishes. Okay, so that's all of our fully finished objects. So our FFOs. Um, we have a couple. Or I do. Have you got finishes? I've got two. Yeah. Yeah. So we have some finished objects as well. So I will. Uh, start with one of mine i have finished off um mouse's beach outing 
which is by Tiny Modernist. Sorry, I'm not very prepared here. I've got stuff no, everywhere. No, not, not today. <clears throat> um, and it, this one I've stitched on a 14 count Ada, which is called Cloud Strata Number no. 5 from Zoe's Gifts and Crafts. Where's your needle? Oh, you took it off. I took it off when I finished the project. Um, so that is what it looked like. And I was using um, the DMC colours in CXC threads. So that one is finished. My needle minder was from Jess Get Stitching, which we mm. got for uh, a retreat, I think. Um, so that's that one. I was going to start on another one. Um, quite quickly but I've had other things so they will have to wait but that one is now done and I really like those little mice ones they're super cute so should I do mine? yep okay so carrying on with the mouse uh, mice themed I don't have the cover photo for this but you can see what it looks like anyway it just mine looks a little bit different with the thread so this one is called Mouse's Strawberry Jam and we were doing this as part of a sale wasn't we? Yeah. Called Birthday Jam Sale. And Which here's mine. Me and you did it mm -hmm. and Maggie did it. Alison. Alison. A joy from the Carolina Stitches. And there was another well. one that did it as well. The Witchy. No. Was it Diary of a Spiritual yeah, Witcher? Yeah, I think so. So anyways, here's mine. I did it on a, a 14 count like grey rustico. Um, and I did DMC variegated threads. Just because um, it would have been... Well, I don't know if we can get... Can we get weak style work? Yeah. Because that's what it, it's called for, Yeah, we it? can get weak style works, But we decided to do different things. Maggie yeah. did the called for... Week style works. I just did the alternative uh, DMC colours, and Lauren wanted to do. Lauren's got a bit of both in her. She's got, mm -hmm. but you've not got. Yours isn't week style works. You used no. the DMC variegated that you wanted to try and match it, didn't you? So. But the like some of the threads, like obviously the white and the yellow, um, isn't using variegated because it's only like little bits of that. So I I didn't think it was worth it really. No, but. I absolutely love the dress. I think it goes really well. And then I did some white shoes because I thought I'd be a little bit different. So there's mine. I really like it. Very cute. So Lauren has now finished. I have. It only took me like months. But there we go. I'm going to start the Christmas um, mouse next. Yeah, uh, because that one I kid. Was kitted up for yeah, you, I just it? need the fabric. That's good. Okay, so we both got the same one again. Oh yeah. So anyone that's been with us for um, any length of time will know that me and Lauren this year are doing a uh, our own sort of calendar, monthly calendar sale, um, mm -hmm. which is from Emma Congdon, and it is currently. Um, a monthly thing going on in Cross Stitcher magazine. So we're both doing. I um... keep knocking the camera. Sorry about that. I know we are. Sorry, we're on a more of a flimsy table yeah. here. So we're. Um... So yeah, we are both doing them on fourteen count white Ada. And again, this one's mine and this one's mum's. We've got it on opposite sides. Yeah. But we are using some called for and some colours from Stash. So that is where we are with that. We're on, we've just kitted up the October one, haven't we? Mm, Which I think is, I'll start it this week. You quite like the look of that one, don't you? What's, what it's is it? a witch's hat for the main piece and then it's got like fallen leaves yeah i think so pumpkin and something else i can't remember but i 
I like the look of that one because the back stitch on this thing doesn't look too hard. Yeah, we've got three more to go. <laughs> yeah. It's been quite a lot of, um, well, the back stitch, some of it's been all right, but some of it has been a bit more challenging, hasn't it? So. I actually, I, no, I didn't finish this at tan stitchy day, which we'll speak about soon, but I nearly did. I think I ran out of one colour, which annoyed me mm. a little bit, but... Yeah, so you did want to finish it then, didn't you? Yeah. So that is our September calendar. So we will probably be starting the October one while we're here. We bought it with us to start. Mm -hmm. Because, like, we're nearly at the end of October. How has that even happened? So we need to get They're a They're all one. my finishes as well. Okay, well, I've just got one more then, which is um, Broomstick Park in this one is. So I did... Um, they were freebie charts from Be uh, Beth at Be More Creative. Every uh, she's got a floss tube channel. And every I think it's the seventeenth of every month. She puts out a freebie chart on her YouTube channel. So you have to go and watch it, and you can get the the freebie off there. And I saw this one quite a while back. It was, but um, I did the cafe one. So this is what it looks like. So that's actually called Witch's Brooms. So there comes the two of them. So I've already done the cafe one, which was in my thing of stuff to fully finish oh, yeah. and didn't get finished. So I've done the parking one this time. So it's on a piece of Ada from Megan at Coffee Craft Fabric. So it is an unnamed fabric. And I'm using all the called for, I've used the called for DMC colours just in CXC threads. So. so that is where it says, please park your broom at the door. So that one I shall be finishing in a similar way. I think I was going to finish them on some pumpkin stand things. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that we got so a broomstick stand would be cool but i don't think I've i think it would no i'm not sure it would fit on them anyway it'd have to be quite a big one because it's quite mm. big so yeah that one if you scroll down i can't see when this um pattern was from but if you go onto a youtube channel you will see on the 17th of each month she's got freebies this is probably well i started this one last year so I imagine it was a, not sometime last year that it was put out. So. Mm -hmm. um, so they are our finished objects, our FOs. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we are on to uh, new starts. You got uh, any? No, I haven't actually. Okay, I've got two new starts then and then some whips. I've only got so, two whips this Yeah, time. Lauren had a little bit more of a blip. You had a lot going on this these few weeks. I've you? been a bit ill. And then, obviously, <clears throat> I've been putting in quite a lot of stuff on the finishes that I just showed you. Yeah. Like, quite a lot of stitches on that. And you so had your birthday, and yeah. you went away to the Horse of the Year show. And yeah, so, it's been busy. So, yeah. So, I have got mine in this project bag, which is from Sophie at Turtle Bay stitches which i picked up at the big stitch retreat yeah at rachel's stand yeah so i picked that one up so and i picked up the um autumn harvest collection so it's called moonlight ghost sorry you about also the got glare. that at the big stitch so this is all like a big stitch yeah i picked this project. one up at the big stitch as well and i started decided I wanted to start it so it's so small it is quite small but it's using I haven't used it yet but it is got glow in the dark thread on it so that is where I am at so I don't have a lot more stitching because it's quite a few beads in there as well but I need to get a move on with this really because I am um, I like it and I wanted to finish it so I might get some more done on that while we're at the caravan so that is was my new 
I need to start my mail hit one because I bought it at the big stitch, but the beads are intimidating me. Well, you do the stitching first and then go deal with that afterwards. I need to start it actually. Okay, and the next new start that I had is a recent one, which is uh, Hocus Pocus, and it's from Good Morning Mary. Again, sorry about the glare. So it's got all the little characters and book and the cat. Binks. And it says, I put a spell on you and now you're mine. And it's so. got the candle. It has, yeah. So that one is being housed in my Wednesday bag, which was from Sammy of Little Loops. And this one is being stitched on a piece of 14 count Ada, which is was hand dyed by our friend Arlene Wilde, who is mm. stitching in the fence and on floss tube. Sorry, I just knocked the camera again. Yeah, this tail is really very sorry. Good. <laughs> um, and I'm using the called for DMC colours, but in CXC threads. So, got the face, and I ran out of. Hair the colour. hair colour but I have now found it so she's bold and this is I'm gonna say it now because it's on my project this is a needle minder which we got from Tan who is the monogamous cross stitcher on floss tube and CXC by Tan on Instagram so we went to a stitchy day for her 40th birthday and the needle minder was included in that so I've got it on this project, so I'm yeah, going to show you've, it now. Yeah, because you've started using your ones, but I've got mine still in the bag to show you. So, yeah, you've sorry. got like little things in every project. Sorry. I know I keep saying sorry today. You're not going to get well annoyed with me. I'm completely off kilter. Yeah, you don't kilter. feel right. No, like... I'm completely off kilter. We've literally arrived. I knew I had to do it. We've also got to go shopping as well. And nothing is here. You know when you're used to doing it in a certain place and you're used to having things in the right place and nothing is in the right place or nothing <laughs> is... But never mind, we're here and we're doing it and we are... Everything's good. So, they are new starts. So, we have whips. I've got two. Okay, would you want to do one first then? You've got a lot more things to show in the next bit the stitchy kindness and very stuff very lucky i was for my birthday you were very lucky okay so i also got some gifts for myself for my birthday didn't i you did yes you did i also had before i forget um, i had did have a new start and a finish but that was for um an exchange piece so i can't show it for the november Floss Friends UK retreat, which we are going to. I so. did have a finish, as a fully finish and a finish, but I gave that to Tan. Um, but I have got photos on my camera roll somewhere, so we can put that up. We will put that up. Probably when I talk about. I don't know. We're very all over the place. Sorry. This is Winter Pillow by Flossabilities. Uh, and I'm actually super close. so close now. I am. And, they and only I still really, love this thread. I know. They only really take me like a block a night. So I could literally get this done in like two nights. I'll probably finish it when we're away because I like doing this at like, night time. Yeah. So here it is. I've taken it out of the hoop. Have you yeah. started doing the uh, stitching side to side? No, for yeah. The variegation. Because I just like to see how it looks with that. Because you were going up and down, weren't you? Mm-hmm. And I don't mind which way, really. But I did It's the... very variegated, though, that it thread. Is. That DMC looks really good. So I did the Christmas tree. Well, I guess they don't have to be Christmas trees, but I did the tree block. Um, and I think that was it. I think I already did the igloo block last time. But it's a 14-count hand-dyed tea and coffee Ada. Yeah. And the thread, I'll show you again. 
motor. So it's a DMC 4025 thread, which never focuses, but that's what it looks like. Yeah. And I really like it. So hopefully I can get it done before winter. And what that bag you're, you've got oh, it yeah. in, that was a gift for Christmas, Ursula. wasn't it? From yeah. Our friend Ursula. So that's what you've got that one in. I feel like it's just very fitting. I feel like next time she should have a finish on that. Yeah, I probably She needs really. to have some stitchy goals, I think. She's got quite a few things that are nearly finished, haven't you? Well, I have tried to put the things that are nearly finished in my bag to stitch on. But I just switched it out recently, yesterday, for the camera Yeah, it's come here. But I probably will finish that this week. So that's exciting. It is exciting. If we were at a treat, she could ring a bell. I could. I'm not <laughs> sure if I have the courage to do that. <laughs> one day, yeah. when we're there, this is going to be our third one, so maybe. Maybe this time. <laughs> okay, so the next... I always um, leave the chart out by accident. I know. That's annoying. So, my first whip, or one of my whips, I don't know, they're no particular order because I'm all over the place. I'm also, as you can tell, not telling you what how many stitches I've put in because I haven't got any notes. I'm literally... Freestyle. That's probably free why styling. you're a bit... Yeah, I know. I'm I'm a note person. I like to I'm have... Not. Even if I don't look at them, I like to have them down here in front of me because if I forget anything, I've got it here. Whereas, Whereas I always, always freestyle. You always win and I don't do that. <laughs> so, so this is what I have worked on. So this is a nautical tier by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And me and Lauren set up a um, sal, started a sal, which is called hashtag three cheers for trade tiers sal. Um, we've got a few people joining in on this. I have had, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show this first and then talk to you. So uh, um, I'm doing this on 14 count Ada, which is called Eclipse from Sparkly. So it's got, it's quite heavily sparkled you can't really see it that much but it is quite heavily sparkled um, and I'm using all the called for DMC threads so this time I stitched this and this and I've come down and did a little bit more of the tiered tray you, again you still can't see the white on but it I but I feel like you can see it better in real life you can see it better in real life and I'm happy you can would see I it have there. Um, if I did it again I probably wouldn't have chosen that fabric to do it or I might have changed the colour of the tray because I saw somebody the other day doing I think it was the Halloween tiered tray oh yeah on Instagram and she changed the colour of the tray so it was like I don't know if it was a purple or like a Halloweeny colour or oh, yeah. so it really stood out on the fabric it looked amazing and I thought if I had my time again I probably would have done changed the colour of the tray to something else like a summery colour. Yeah, so it stood out a bit. But I'm I'm fine. Yeah, you can see it in up yeah. close and, and we live and learn. So it's from Jessica stitching it. And it matches it the is. fabric. It does. So yeah, we I had um on the last floss tube, I can't remember who it is, I'm really sorry, but we Co did have a comment. Coco. No, but that's the woman on Instagram, isn't it? Coco Clue. It might be, I can't remember. I don't know. I'm, I'm really sorry, but um left us a comment on the last one to say that she was her and her mum I think were joining in with our uh Sal and they had posted um or tagged the um hashtag and they couldn't see any of their work going back into the um hashtag. the hashtag yeah sorry <clears throat> um I know Instagram is messing around a lot with things but the only thing, and I'm not sure whether you are or aren't, the only thing that we realised with Lauren was when Lauren couldn't see anything, even though she was tagging um, it, was that because her account, her Instagram account was private, um, she couldn't actually, it wasn't letting her see anything. So I don't know if either of you have got a private account, so in which case you wouldn't be able to see, even though you mm. could still tag it, you can't see what's coming up on there that you've done. 
so you might want to try that otherwise i'm not really sure because i'm not really up on the um no i think instagram issues is playing up maybe hashtags. somebody else might be able to give you some some options but that's the only thing i can think of because that is what works for you wasn't it as soon as you mm -hmm. um and the same with the other stitch along that we're doing the gnomes gnomes everywhere sal lauren couldn't see on that either until she um changed her account her instagram account to um open or public or whatever it was and now she can see all of them so that might be might be a reason if not i'm really sorry i don't know the reason why um but you could tag me and Lauren's account, our Instagram account, and we'll be able to see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Or you can also um, send us some pictures on our Gmail account, which is below as well, because we really do want to see what you're doing if, you, if you're struggling that way. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of options. If anybody else has any other ideas as to why they can't see it, um, leave some comments below and see if we can help help out a little bit because I, do, I don't want I want to be able to see as many of these tiered trays as I can one they're quite enabling mm -hmm. oh, and I've also seen I think it's a new one that we saw the other day the woodland creatures I think it uh, is yeah. and I really like that one as well so I want to do the dog one I feel like they should bring our horse one. Oh, that'd be very cool that would be cool wouldn't it you never know, maybe one day. I bet they'll bring a cat one out, though, unless they've got a cat one already. I think they've already got a cat one Because it always seems to be dog and cat. See, I would love a pig one. I, that would be all. <laughs> the farmyard one, though, has a pig. Oh, it does, yeah. Does it have a horse as well? Um, I don't know. Maybe a brown one. Because I feel like a lot of charts have brown horses. And I'm not mm. sure why. They never um, have black and white ones. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. So that was the nautical tier and it is part of our three cheers for trade tiers, Sal. Um, and yeah, if anybody's got any um, explanations to why they can't see their posts, other than the fact that it might be on private, please do comment below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Shall I just get mine done? Come on then. Um... So this is in the project. I feel like we don't really show our project bags that much. I do if I try sometimes, if yeah. I remember. That's why I try to. But this is the project bag from... Uh, Big Stitch you got this Yeah, but it's from Andrea, but I don't know what... Well, I think is. it's now called Bowen's Bags and Things, but she is yeah. the Stitchy Science Technician on Instagram. But I love Snoopy, so this was... I immediately saw it and I was like, got to get that. And it's Christmas themed, so love it. Me, yeah, I've got quite a few. All of um, Andrea's bags, or most of them that I know oh, yeah. of, have got the speckled, the Sparky. glittery, um, yeah. Okay, so this is also a tier. So this is Stitchy Tier by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And this, I really like this one because I just think that I can have it up all year. And yeah. They're really quite, they're not huge these either no, really, they're, they're like 60, 61 by 90 ones, they're not huge stitches and they're, they're like quite nice because they're small motifs so you can do mm -hmm. a few and feel like you're getting quite a bit done. Yeah. Your tray is really showing up on this. I know, fabric. so this is mine. So it is a 14 count Ada but it's called Linen. And it's a DMC Ada called yeah. Linen, isn't it? Yeah, and that's what I'm up to. So I think I did the whole hoop, which I had a little bit of an issue with that because I've got something wrong at the bottom here. Which yeah, you were just me. out by a stitch or something like that, yeah. and it threw, but it was really close to where she'd not long far from where she'd gone, so it mm. wasn't a huge deal to frog out, but. I love the white on this fabric. I just think it shows up so well. So I've actually done the top bit now of the tray. So I am going to come down to this section, which has got the bobbin, the buttons, the thimble, and the tape measure, which I think that is pretty cool. And there's a little bit of backstitch in the bobbin. There's, there's a tiny bit of backstitch in mine, but it's not like massive and it's really easy. So yeah, I do like these tiers, they're a lot of fun to do. They're a lot of fun. And 
the needle minder. I'm not. Is it again from Jess? It looks like a Jess gets yeah. stitching. I think we bought it in a bundle, didn't we? And I think it came like a dinosaur one, maybe. Yeah, that was from. That wasn't a retreat though. That was no. at home. I think she had a sale on or something. Yeah. So that is all my whips. I really haven't done a lot. This okay. Month. Well, I've got a few more, so I will go with it. So this yeah. one is uh, being housed in a bag, which is from um, Stitchamajig. She'll be at the retreat on we're Etsy. going to, won't she? Yeah, I've bought a couple of her bags. I really like these because they are um, embroidered embroidered inside. So, let's see that. Yeah, so the machine embroidered inside on all of her bags. They're really, really well made. Yeah. Super Good fab quality. made, yeah. They are I think favorite. that was reduced, wasn't it, for like something... Which I can't tell what. No, I, th I think it was it. Imper imperfect, but. Perfect to me. I'm more than happy with it. So, this one is housing my Halloween pillow, which is from uh, Flossibilities. So, I am using. I've changed it up a little bit. So, I have swapped out. So, the. Um, werewolf is over here i've put him in the middle and my pumpkin is gonna be over there that is all i've changed it out but i am using dmc etoile threads so this is where i've got up to the fabric is the hand printed one that arlene um, use this has done for us i have done it quite a few times yeah um so as you can see i've done the werewolf in the middle which is done with uh etoile threads to 3371 and then i have got the the four sort of round that is being done in um 907 so again you probably can't see much of the sparkle on it but um yeah, and then really so the pumpkin there's a witch's hat a cat and the spider which will go in those four corners now is gonna be uh the orange which is 740 this looks like a cross. Um, isn't Cardiff Stitcher Danielle? She's just starting being it. Being inspired with, with by your some, friends. She's got. I think she's doing it on a pair, a, a black or a dark coloured fabric with Halloweeny colours. So I think it's purple and yeah, I saw orange it. and green or something like that. She's just started or is about to start it. So you're actually <laughs> not far off either. With this. No, not if I got down to it, but. You know, as with everything else, we have so many more things mm -hmm. to keep going. But I do like this one. It's nice to just pull out. If I'm having like a... I don't really want to stitch too much because I'm too tired. But it, it's not like... You don't have to really think about it on your brain. It's on Pattern Keeper, that I is, as well. I do love patterns so as well. Yeah. They're, they're, they're really nice. They are fun. Okay, so my next one is my Arctic Animal Sal, which I... I'm up to, I think it's clue six has now been um, bought out, which is, um, a I don't think I've got it here with me. It's like a cabin, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, so this is the clue five. So this is what I have now finished. But clue six has been done and it's all over here. So you've got two sort of cabins or cottages either side of here. And then a load of snow and things across there. So that is clue six, which has come out. I haven't started that yet, but um, I am up to date. In terms of that, so the Arctic hair was what came out. So this is being stitched um, on a Megan at Coffee Craft Fabrics fabric again. Again, so it's got no name to it, but it's a 14 count Ada. The pattern is Arctic Animals Sal, which is going on until February or March, I believe, next year. Um, it's from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I am using all DMC colours apart from, which I haven't used yet, but um, there is a petite, I think it's petite treasure braid, rainbow gallery thread little zoom in there um, which is a glow-in-the-dark one i haven't used it yet so we will see 
So yeah, I've got to get working on that one before the next one comes out because I do not want to get behind on it. Because You're managing when... to keep up with it. Yeah, I am. But when I get behind on a stitch along, that just throws me out then because then I think, well, what tough luck, really. What's the point? <laughs> yeah. And I leave it, which is what happened with the last one. I was caught up. I was up with the under the sea one that I did oh, and yeah. then I got but behind. I think that was also some of it was because you made a big mistake, didn't you? Yeah, and I couldn't bother to sort it out. So, yeah, that is that one, which is, again, being housed in a Turtle Bay Stitches bag, which she made for me when I was starting the sal. I asked her for some... Uh, she could make me a project bag. She showed me some material, and I chose what I like. So, I've got three more to show you. Uh, this one I really didn't do much on, to be honest. Um... It's oh, being housed, sorry. <laughs> this one is a made by me envelope project bag, which I got a tutorial from Bonna Pfeiffer on YouTube. So it's one of the envelope ones, so the back of it is upside down. But I've got poppers on them, so. So this one, I haven't really kept up. I've tried to keep up a bit this time with my terrifying Tuesday. Um, I've got my Winnie the Pooh Wednesday to show you and festive Friday. But the last couple of weeks, I haven't really done my festive Friday. Um, I also don't think I have the uh, cover photo to show you. But it is... I'm sure you could get a photo. Oh yeah, I probably will. It's, it's Santa's Clothes by Raise the Reef. Um, you've even got a hanging thread on here yeah because I was going to carry on with the colour and then I put it away It's so it's on a 16 count white opalescent Ada and I am using um, all DMC alternatives apart from the weak style works which is blue bonnet because that came with the uh, kit with the buttons and stuff which I got from Chris at the Nimble Thimble so that is what, and what I did was this, I started the sack down the bottom here. So I really didn't do that much, but I put some, and I was going to go back and do some more, and then I got way laid doing something else, so it didn't happen. So that's why I have a He's hanging thread. <laughs> yes, I've got the um, witches one as well. That one's funny, because it's got um, some other stuff on it. And I think there's a... There are Valentine's one, I think, as well. Oh, I don't have that one. But, yeah, we did a trip to the Nimble Thimble for Lauren's birthday. Oh, I feel like that's what we do all the time for my birthday now. It's like we always take a trip out there on my birthday, don't we? Yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining because it is a good trip. I feel like that's become our tradition. Yeah, now. and then we go to the cupcake shop, Crystal's Cupcakes mm -hmm. by ours. So that's what we do before I have to go to work. So, because my birthday is always in the week, pretty much. But I think it might be on the weekend next year. Who knows? Right, this is my Winnie the Pooh Wednesday. What is? It's part of what I do on Winnie the Pooh Wednesday. Um, this is being housed in a Andrea's Bowen's bag. So this is Bowen's bags and things, or the Stitchy Science Technician on Instagram. Again, it's got the sparkly vinyl mm -hmm. and it has got bears on it. And obviously, same my Winnie the Pooh had to go in there. So this one is Poo Sticks that you've, if anybody's been here for any length of time, they will know that um, I am working on this. So Danielle the Cardiff Stitcher who is on Floss Tube and Instagram, um, has started the Winnie the Pooh Wednesday and I immediately had to join in. I've got quite a few charts and I'm still always buying them. So, and I wanted to start them. And actually it's been really productive for me because I make sure that every Wednesday I'm stitching something on it, even if it's only a little bit and I'm getting quite a lot of project uh, progress on it. So I'm quite happy with that. So... This is a picture of the front cover, so it's just a printout. So this is Poo Sticks. It, it came as a full kit, 
um, it's a Debbie Minton design for designer stitches so I am using everything that is included in the kit the threads and the fabric which looks like it's like a cream or an ivory, ivory. 14 count Ada so as with all of them I will if I've got them put pictures up of the last time you will have seen it but this is where I am up to now and I'm really chuffed so I have done all of the all of the bottom bit of it I'm now coming up to the trees and then I have the back stitch to do which I said I wasn't going to leave till last but I, she has yeah I don't know I just I'm just gonna get on with it I think and just do the back stitch at the end so I have a massive amount although it still does look like it's quite a bit but I'm really pleased with it love Pooh and Piglet you can now see Christopher Robin in there mm -hmm. so yeah I'm really pleased with this one wait isn't the stick that Christopher Robin's That's holding back stitch yeah yeah so you have got quite a lot. I have got a lot of backstitch to do. Everything, it's pretty much everything. Everything in there is backstitched. If you, it definitely makes it come together see. though. The backstitch. Yeah, it does need doing on it, and I will do it. Just not now. It's not a hard backstitch, so it's not like I'm going to be stressy about it. But I just seem to want to do the like stitch on it when I'm working on it, and not do the backstitch on it at the minute. But so that is um. There's two hashtags to that, so it is hashtag Winnie the Pooh Wednesday Sal and hashtag WTP Sal. So anybody that wants to join in and stitch on Winnie the Pooh on a Wednesday or any other day if you want, I suppose, um, go for it. Mm -hmm. So there's that. I've got one more to show you, which seems like ages ago since I worked on this one, but it is uh, my fox from a year in the woods again i have not got the cover photo with me but i will put it up but everybody will have seen this one it is the cottage garden samplings um year yearly thing they put out a couple of years ago i think it was 2022 i started this one which is actually really quite bad because this is the only one that i've done i haven't even finished it yet um but i am doing so I've got four different fabrics and I'm doing the three chart three for each season on the one fabric. So I started off with the fox. There's so much fabric here, it's kind of like hard to handle. And it is so this is um being stitched on 14 count Ada, which is called Virgo from Sparklies. And I'm using all DMC, so I'm not using any fancy flosses. Um that were called for in this i'm using the alternatives so the fox is now done so i have some trees to do and there is a log cabin to do um there might be some more snowflakes i'm not sure but the actual fox is done um i've then got the reindeer or the swans to do on this piece um I'm not sure which one the I'll tail do next. Is absolutely huge. But yeah, there is a lot more stitching in these than you think there's going to be, to be honest. Mm. And I don't think, I mean, if you're a monogamous stitcher, then you probably would, but I don't think there's no way I would have got this stitched every Up month. Today. Every month, there's no way I would have done it. I definitely wouldn't. But I do love it. They're gorgeous charts, and I am going to keep plugging along with them and eventually one day at some point they can be i will have all else. of them framed and in my house probably when everybody's gone <laughs> moved out so yeah that is i thought it's in a bag this is one of the first bags i actually got to be honest from um tracy dixon this is who is Oh, I keep hiding behind things and I can't remember what it's called. Tracy Ann Designs, I think it is. Mm. Again, everything is in the description box below. It's there all the time for all the projects that we use uh, and the shops and things that we use. So, yep, that is our 
all of our stitching for the last few weeks. Um, I do apologise, it's been a bit all over the place, but I will put cover photos up of anything that um, we haven't had for um, and we'll post uh, as per usual of what it looked like before and any of the descriptions will go on the screen or below. Um, we are we do have quite a bit of haul and stitchy kindness to show you. I'm just going to go through and make sure that that is where we are up to in Happy Mail. Yep, that's it. So we are going to put our stuff away, get all of our new stuff out, out, and we will be back in a minute. Okay, so we are going to move on to um, Happy Mail, Stitchy Kindness and oh. Haul. So do you want to do this first? Do you want to do um, your Stitchy Kindness last or do you want to do that first? I'll do that last actually. But should I still do this? Yeah, you can show that. So we went to, uh, Tanya is the monogamous cross-stitcher, had her... Friends. 40th birthday yeah a couple of weeks ago was it the beginning of october i think we went so yeah. on the 5th i think it was week before um, wasn't it her birthday yeah i think so yeah because her birthday's the day after yours isn't it it's the same That's as your right. dad's so um she decided she was going to have a stitchy day so um it was quite close to us about an hour away maybe didn't take long so we went over took our stitching and celebrated her birthday with her which was lovely and you did her a, a gift, gift didn't yeah. you so there was also a little thing not little but amy from so make and create made like a 40 stitch thing but she left the middle of the 40 blank so everyone could stitch one of their favourite colours. Yeah, 10 like or 20, 20 stitches yeah. or so that everyone could put in. So I think I did more than that, though. Yeah, I think I did as well. But. Oh, well. So Lauren made a Harry Potter cross-stitch design pillow, didn't you? Which so I I'll put picture. the picture up um, now for you. That was from Good Morning Maui. It was a Good Morning Maui chart, which was the whole thing, but you just picked out the Harry Potter on the room yeah. seat, didn't you? So you made that into a pillow for her. Mm -hmm. And we gave her some other Harry Potter stitchy gifts. I also attempted to make her one of these boards um, with Harry Potter fabric on it. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was particularly... In fact, I really did debate, and I've already told Tan this, about whether I was going to give it her or not, because I wasn't very um, happy with the finish. However, Tan is happy with it and that is all that matters. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so yeah, we did that. So I'll put pictures up of Lauren's finish up here. And when we were there, she gave us a little bag, didn't she? Yeah. Each of stuff. I, I've shown you um, the needle minder that I got, which is already on one of my projects. Yeah. So you can show her yours and say where it's from. So we each got one of these. And it's from Kate Blandford. Yep, so it's kateblandford.com. So there we go. So um, got those. Then we got a pair of scissors. Yeah, so we got a pair of... I think rainbow. mine is the same as Lauren, I think. Yeah, they think they are, but they're like stalks and they're like rainbow. Yeah, they are the same. So we got some stalk scissors each. Then, and stickers, which I've already put on my book of days. My yeah, I'm going to use all my stuff after this video, but I wanted to keep it all together for it. And then got some little... You believe she's well. actually still got these? Well, I think there was some more in there, but I did eat them once. I but... mean, my chocolates went. I'm not joking, they were gone. They'll be, they'll be gone today. <laughs> <laughs> I think she actually forgot they were in the bag, to be I fair, did. didn't you? <laughs> so... That's my little gift from Tan. I'm not going to no. put it back in the bag. It's a little bit wrinkly. Thank you very much, Tan, because everybody needs needle minders and scissors. So you can never have enough. No, we appreciate that. Yep. So, shall we show these? 
Okay, so wherever they are, I um put an order in for some. Lauren wanted some uh, beetle juice needle minder, didn't you? I did to go with the project that she's about to start, which I do believe she has not bought with her. No, I have. I have. Have you? Where I did have. you put that in there then? Because it was still. I don't think you have. I have. It's just I left the cover photo at home. I think. No, I think I. No, I think I. I have because it's in my bag. <laughs> it is in there because I know a project's in there. It's in the Jack Skellington thing. Okay. It's in there. Well, it's a good morning my pattern that she's starting and she wants to need a winder for it. So we scrolled through and I found um, a company called Needle Say More, they're called, on Etsy. They're on Etsy, um, Needle Say More store, Instagram at Needle Say More and they're also on Facebook as Needle Say More. So you got that one, didn't you? You want to show which one you got? So here's Beetlejuice. You can see it, but I guess it's not focusing as well. And the back, it just says NSM, which obviously is Needle Samal. Thought we said that's so Needle Samal. And then I <laughs> got this one, which is the Beetlejuice sign. Sorry about the glare. Again, you could probably see the uh, hill through the glare but so yeah that's yes. the beetlejuice sign so we've got those now even though i'm not doing a beetlejuice sorry for the doors banging i think our next door neighbor's just arrived yes um yeah sorry about all the noise but everyone's <laughs> going to be arriving now so that is what we got so what next well you said next. that we should do the whole okay oh these charts We'll have to show check. from afar back. Okay, so along with the fact that Lauren wanted Beetlejuice needle minders, she was also looking at other charts, so we found... This and that, it's called by Becky. Did you see someone had stitched this, I think? Yes, so somebody I follow on Instagram. We both follow each other, I think. And he, I think it's a man. Mm. He did this one, and I was like, oh... I really need that. So she made me look and then I fell down a rabbit hole because I found some more stuff on there for me. Yeah. So these are only charts only, so we are going to show it from far back. But it mm -hmm. is uh, This and That by Becky. Is um... So here's mine. So, that so is it was just like a heart Beetlejuice shaped with the sandworm Beetlejuice, obviously, and I'm guessing it was done on a purple fabric. So yeah, the background's was, purple. yeah. So I cannot wait to start that one. And then I got some hocus inspired, hocus pocus inspired ones. So I have those are all really small ones, like 32 by 53 stitches. But this is the black flame chart candle, and then I also got uh, the book of spells, which is 41 by 50 stitches. So that is book and then I got the three sisters and this is 50 by 30 stitches so I got them so all really small dead easy none of them have got back stitching um, no, mine hasn't, I don't think. so they're really simple ones to get to do if you want a quick stitch on there so mm -hmm. so that is those um we went to hobby craft and i picked up a couple of things yeah we from actually hobby went craft. after turn stitchy day we did because there was no um there was no retreat uh, no vendors yeah. there because obviously it was just a stitchy day so on the way back we have a hobby craft in telford so i said to lauren should we go and have a look at hobby craft as a bit of a felt like a treat then. treat but then, um, but there was nothing really there, was there? No, so. but I did need something anyway for to the extra thread, thread to finish off the September calendar. Oh yeah, you did. So we went to have a look. So I picked up this pumpkin, which is really a chalkboard, um, but it's already got this on it, already done for a bow. So um, that will be perfect for a finishing project. And also, I picked up a hole punch which is Winnie the Pooh inspired. So it's 
it's an eel one which I think thought would be perfect for doing more because I make my own uh, some of my own floss drops and stuff for um my Winnie the Pooh Wednesday cells even no, though I've I'll got hard ones I'll be not touching that because last time I touched one of mine was a whole puncher I think I broke it didn't I yeah you were a bit mad <laughs> <laughs> but there is multiple ones. There was uh, Winnie the Pooh. Piglet, I think. I think so, yeah. So, I Tigger, I think, as well. Um, but also, we went to the range and picked up some bits for finishing and stuff, didn't we, from the fall collection, or autumn collection. So I like the range for that stuff. Yeah, so we got um, autumn little mini wooden shapes. There's 45... Pieces. Which Sorry is what, again for the glare, but I've got cellophane on it, so which is what we so we had Halloween ones for the Beetlejuice yeah. fully finished and one. For so these are like ninety nine p. They've got little toadstools, squirrels, acorns, hedgehogs, pumpkins, and leaves really, but they're ninety nine p. Are for twenty four little mini ones. So we picked up that, and then we got some ribbon mm -hmm. for finishing. So again, these are 99p each and they are 2 metres. So there's some orange with ghosts. And then this one was just a green. I like that sort of green Halloween-y colour. This is one of my favourite ones. Mm -hmm. This I think I saw this one and I was like, we're getting that, that one. one. So it's really cool, that mm -hmm. one is. And then we got some I like black this skeleton one. one dancing i also got a jack skellington little pouch but that's got my beetlejuice thing in it so i have yeah. it but it's over oh, it's there. like um like a pop popper yeah sort of. but i like using them for project bags i think they work pretty mm -hmm. well then we picked up two of these for finishing they're not supposed to be but they're like glittery hat they're just well, they're almost they're really like glittery. cardboard really but they're pretty good to mm -hmm. do a small finish on and then hang it up so we got they're one each of those thing. i think they were about 99p or something like that um still going i <laughs> also picked up this book to make some uh floss drops which i have done for a new uh, project I'm going to be starting while we're here so these are all 3.99 that is yeah there's like that 24 sheets they are double sided these sheets as well so there's loads and loads and loads of different patterns so I got those because I like doing those and then just some autumn mini stickers to put in my days and lauren's diary that she's got mm -hmm. and i think that was like 99p as well so we picked up those ones didn't we yeah and then what nimble we're gonna thimble. do the nimble thimble okay so we went to the nimble thimble for lauren's birthday day we did and i bought a few things i bought some that's all i'm gonna say in all fairness, she did have quite a big sale on again, um, and I bought some things for, could be giveaways, could be to go on, like, for raffles at the retreats that we go to, or even for the exchange table that we go to at yeah. the retreat. So, some of them are for me, some of them I haven't decided what I'm doing with yet, but when they are as cheap as they were, I had to, to get them. So you can show what you've got. Okay, so I really wanted the Buffy Fred Shire horse, and I'm still going to get that at some point. But I really hoped they had it there, but they didn't have any Buffy Freds there this time. So there was a different horse pattern instead. So I got this one. Well, you got this one for me, didn't you? I did, yeah. So it's got all the Freds all sorted out yeah. by the looks of it. And fabric and stuff. So that's from Paco. Yeah, which is, it says it's made in Holland. Holland. So. But I think that's so cute, that a little cute. foal. So cute. 
one is really wrinkly, so... Then this one wrinkly, was... Wrinkly, she means, not wrinkly. Yeah, crinkly. <laughs> then this one was on sale, so I bought this one. So from Hands On Design, and it is Witch's Pantry. The glare's really annoying. So it says, got my eyes on you. Toads, warts and all, and then just a helping hands. I think they're really cool, and I like the way they're finished. But they also come with little bat buttons. Pins, maybe, I don't know, that stick on there. Or pin in there. So I thought that was very cool. I've got that one. And there's this one that I got, which I really like as well. So this is Snip Snip by October House Fibre Arts. Yeah, and they're part of the skinny mini pattern, so... I've seen a few of these I like. I like the bobbins ones, I like the pumpkin ones, and I do like the scissor ones. So. And these ones are, what, 124 by 37 stitches, so... And what I'm going to do with this is do each scissor in a variegated thread. You knew what she was going to say, yeah, didn't you guys? You just knew. I love my variegated threads. Lauren and their variegated threads. I actually did buy a variegated thread from there. Yeah, I did. So I had to. And then this one's super cute. So this is from Don't Forget to Floss from Fin Finally a Farm Girl. She has a floss tube, doesn't she? So Trick or Treat Matilda. Matilda Mouse, look at that mouse. And Rippet is there. He's Rip make, it's making there. an appearance. I feel like this is Rippet's time of year. Halloween. You're also yeah, and you're also very into your mice. You know? I am. I just think that's so cool. Like, it stood out to me, so I had to get that as well. Oh, that is very. And cool. the little white pumpkin. And then, okay, so I actually walked away from this one a few times, and then I was like, "Oh, I've got to get it," because it's drawing me back. Yeah, you did. And I do love this design. So it's Christmas Letters by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Oh, I love it. So each of the blocks with the letters inside spell Christmas. I think that's so cool. Only 56 by 118 as well. So and there's not that many threads in there. So I really like that one. And then the last one I got, which is very cool. I'm going to take this out because there's quite a few things to this. So I seem to be drawn to Alice in Wonderland as well. But I saw this one there, which I can't get out. And I got it. So that's the chart up there. But it came with a load of other things, didn't it? So mm -hmm. who's it by? Fairy Wool in the Woods. Alice in Wonderland is part of the I wonder if what does it say? Tiny Fairy Tales Collection number four. So I'm gonna have to go and have a look to see what other fairies oh gosh. fairy tales collection. But it comes in. with templates. That's how small it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's only tiny though. It's got the Cheshire cat. Let's see if I can might be able to see it a little bit better there. But anyway, so it came with that, but it also came with some fabric, which was 18 count Ada. So I've never actually used higher than 14, but I can see them holes perfectly fine. What's it called? In, in my coffee? Yeah, but I think obviously because it's a tea party, then it's like tea stains and it's really cool, I think. And then came with some stickers which will be put to the very good use and this sticker is off the chart i think that's very very cool and then it came with some which is what it fit it to finish it with yeah and then it says tea party yeah, so and that, that attaches so that is basically how it is finished off so you've got the i just think that was so cool it is and like i and said now really i'm gonna have to go back 
going to have to go and have a look at what else they've got. I didn't realise it was part of a collection. But the, the um, chart is really big as well. Mm, good to see. Big. Yeah. And there's not a lot of backstitching in it. Really, really simple backstitch. Like that is And if it's only that big, I feel like that would be done. Could have a little collection quickly. going on there. Must go and have a look. Must run, don't walk. But yes, yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna struggle with eighteen count because I can see it. It's just gonna feel a little bit different to normal, obviously, but I'm not putting that back in, I'm not fighting. No. Have you got everything that are you? I just need to show my thread. Oh, um, okay. So it's DMC 103 and it's another blue, variegated. I don't know what my plan was, but I think I'm going to do a scissor in this. So I'm making a start on collecting variegated, even though I do have some. So okay, so my... my purchases, oh my goodness, me, Warren. I mean, I put some things back, to be honest, but... Yeah, it wasn't Lauren's birthday. Anybody would think it was Lauren's birthday, not mine. Do you mean your birthday, not mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, it's sort of like, no, anybody would think it was your birthday, not mine. It's like sarcasm, like as I in. I don't understand the okay, sarcasm. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so <laughs> I picked this one up, which I wasn't sure if we already, ha already had it, but it was in the sale, and I've got the harvest tiny town so i picked the frill up for that one because even if we already had it it was pennies really <clears throat> i don't so i picked that one up i don't think we do i don't know but i'm not too fast anyway i also got this one which is part of the big city christmas from country cottage needleworks and this is the toy store no, I didn't. Get... Well, I, I didn't... hate when it doesn't focus. I didn't really get. Um... Yeah, you're not going to see it very well. Um, I didn't really get into this one because I've got the Nutcracker Village Village, which I've got all of them for, and I haven't started yet. So I didn't get this, but I really do like these um, country. Country Cottage Needleworks ones that they do, and I like the toy store. So, pick that one up. Then oh, I've picked yeah. up. Okay, so I've been I'm looking sure at Maggie these. Did that one, she yeah. has, she has. I so. I've picked. I've been looking at these ones every single time I've been to the Nimble Thimble, and never got them. I've never ever purchased them, but I picked up Girls' Night Out. And also, I picked up The Boys Are Back In Town, and this is the one that Maggie has done. But they've all got the buttons and stuff. So basically, they're from Just Another Button Company. So you purchase the buttons and basically get the chart is free. That's how it sort of works. So that's all the... You get two for the price of one, basically. ...buttons that come with it. So this one I thought, sorry, knock the table again. It was super cute. Probably going to do it on a similar sort of purpley fabric. Yeah. They're, they are done with weak dye works. Um, mm -hmm. But there is Anchor and DMC alternatives. So. And then these are the buttons for the boys are back in town. That reminds me of Hocus Pocus, the girls' night out. I know. So yeah, Maggie from Handmade. Is it handmade on the ridge? It's not. It's home dot on dot the dot ridge on Instagram. I think it's handmade on the ridge on. I do this every single time. I know, which we should know by now. So anyway, I picked those up. Then when I got Lauren the horse one from Paco, look what I got. Mm -hmm. it's a little piggy. Look, you had to get it. So this one's gonna have to be a size. It's super cute, super cute with a little scarf on. So yeah, I'm not gonna do what we usually do when we see a pig. It's from a film. Go on, do it. No, I'm not doing it. Go on, I do it. No, I'm not doing it. She goes la 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 la. Does anyone know that film? 
If you know, you know. And she does it every single time. Yeah, but so do you, to be honest. Go on, go no, for I'm it. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Move on. Okay, right. So, I've picked up a Glendon place. This is my first Glendon place. I don't like the glare. You're going to have to get out. This is my first Glendon place, and I wanted to. So, Chris at the Nimble Thimble had um, one that had already been that had been done, stitched, and was up framed on the wall. And I was going to get that one. And then I saw this one, which is called Ghoul School. And I love this one. I love the face on the tree. I love all the witch riding by the moon. I just love it all. So I had to choose between one or the other one. And I've chosen this one for this time. That does not mean to say that the next time I go back, I will not be picking the other one up. Um, it does have the button pack. And um, it came with a Karen water lilies. Which um, is the moon, I think. Which is, yeah, is the moon. So this one is called Lemon and Lime. It's a Karen Water Lilies collection. So that's for the moon. And then these are the buttons, which is just another button company for all of the monsters and bats and things in the school. And there's a little owl in the tree and everything. So I've got that one. I've never done a Glendon place before. Um, and I've got to get all the threads. And there are a lot of threads in this one as well. Um, it is charted for... Sullivan's USA thread or Anchor and DMC so I can and the Karen water lilies was the only fancy floss so the rest sure I can do in DMC Rachel with the threads so I picked that one up because I absolutely love it next one I picked up was this one so this is the Blackberry Rabbit, and it is um, October 31st, 1693. So that came with the fabric, which I saw one, and it was only with Even Weave, I think it was. And I obviously don't stitch on Even Weave, so. No, I think it was linen, it says there. Oh, I think it was an even leave. Um, anyway, I got I was looking through and I saw that it's been kitted. It had been kitted as well with this printed fabric, which is a fabric in an Ada flare in sixteen count Ada, and it's newspaper Halloween. So it is October thirty first, sixteen ninety three newspaper design in an ada and i like fabric flare to be fair um it's also comes with too. a needle we get our in fact i've got pay. two needles apparently because i've got a needle for the two well. threads that are in there so i've got two needles um and it also came with enough of the red so chris has literally just given because it's predominantly done in uh, 310 so there's four skeins of dmc uh, 310 and then there is literally seven stitches of very dark salmon which is 347 which is in the spider I don't know if you can see it but literally just there in the spider Black so she has cut off enough of that thread i think you have some left over to be fair for me to use and just put it in there which is ideal really because sometimes you don't you don't want to get a full skein just to do some seven stitches. So. I bet you had it though, three, four, seven. Yeah, I probably have, well. but um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that one because that was nearly a start the other day. Like I need more starts, but okay. So they're the ones that I purchased for myself while we were there. These were all on offer, 
on sale. Can I do some? Really, really cheap. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I have some in mind for certain things. Um, I wasn't going to show, just in case, but then we're just going to show, aren't we? We are. So I might keep them as giveaways. I might take okay. them to retreat for raffles and stuff like that. But they've all been purchased and they're all brand new charts from Chris. So... The first one we picked up was, it's an Annabella's chart, and it is called Merry Christmas Slay. I chose this one, didn't I? So, that's what it looks like again. Sorry about the glare, but... It's a know, very nice day her, today. Annabella's have a floss tube channel as well. This is quite an old chart, actually. It's from 2002. That is an old chart, isn't it? Nearly as old as my eldest son. So yeah, that was the first one. Then one? there was this one from Lily Violet. I think so, yeah. Called Country Life. Yeah, it's very cool and cute. They also have um, an option in the pink fabric as well, but I like that one. Little hair, bunny, yeah. whatever. And then I picked this one up, which I might keep for myself, I'm not sure. But um, I like owls as well. And this one is um, Owl Always Love You from the Seasonal Easel Collection. A Faithworks design. Thing is, you, you can stitch it for yourself and then give it. Give it, yeah. Um, but it's got a charm with it. So it's got an, the owl charm included in the pack. So, they do different ones, apparently. There's snow stuff, a Patriot one, one star, and so a fine scene as part of that range. So, not sure the age of that one, but got that one. There's also Luhu Stitches, and this is called Merry Snow People. I think that one's cute. That one's only got four colours on it, that one has. I like it on the fabric as well. That's a 2017 chart. Yeah. So it's not too old. It's a little Scotty dog. Very cute. And then I saw this one. And this is from Ab Twirl, I think it is. It's an Amy Brooken Designs. And it says, when in doubt, twirl. Which I it's thought was penguin. really cool. And it has got um, some beads included in it and um, a little charm as well. So I don't know where the beads are for, the eyes, the face, I think, somewhere in there. So yeah, that was that chart. Then there was this one, which you actually like. I do like you? this one. I might, Like I said, there's some I might actually do. There. So this is... Anna Lee Waite designs, I yeah. think. Um, Ribbon Rabbit, this one's called. And it actually comes with the ribbon to make into a bow for his bow tie. Or her. So I do like that one. It is cute. And it's quite small as well. Now I also purchased this one. Anybody who knows me knows that this is definitely not going to be kept for me because although I can see the appeal, I am not a sampler like this type of sampler stitcher. Um, but this was such a good price that I wasn't going to leave it there because I thought somebody might actually appreciate this either in the raffle or on the... A table at the retreat so or even a giveaway or a giveaway yeah i haven't decided yet like i said so um this is called the mary pearson sampler um and it is by uh, created by beth twist of heartstring sampler samplery it was originally released may 2019 so it says um i'll come in a bit closer I'll take it out actually. I don't use it. So I know some people do like sand, sand uh, Sorry for the noise. So that was what the original chart looked like. And it says, 
make much of precious time while in your power be careful well to huff and every hour for time will come when you're we had this discussion see this is another reason i don't do samplers because half of them i can't even read when your whole form and i the unhappy minutes that you have misspent mary pierce and her work so if i looked inside it might tell me a bit more about it but the chart is really easy it's a reproduction antique sampler and the chart is really really easy to read um It looks like it was stitched somewhere between 1825 and 1840, the original one. Um, so, yeah, I don't... If you guys can see that and read it, which I'm not sure you would. I'm not good at reading things like that. But that one will be going as um, a giveaway or something. So if you're interested in samplers, keep your ear out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. It might not come up as a giveaway, but there we go. And you got a couple more. Yeah, so this is from Top Knot Stitcher Shop. And I don't know what it's, it's called. called. a Top Notch Cup of Tea. Um, I actually might do this for myself. It is really cool, especially on like the, the um, kettle, kettle thing. Because yeah. I love cups of tea. It's a good cup of tea. And it's really easy to follow and stuff. But yeah, and then is that all with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is from Raise the Roof, and it says getting old it sucks. So, and that's got all the, it's got buttons yeah. in it. Isn't it so? so it says getting old sucks. Pass me a piece of cake anyway with a big cake on there. But yeah, it's got all the buttons and stuff. So. We got that one as well. So that's all of those that we got from the Nimble Thimble. That was a lot. Um, it was. I also have picked up some threads from Rachel, which was to kit up some a project that I needed. So they're all the um, up to 35, 1 to 35. Um, so I think they're AMO or AMO ones because CXC don't do up to, uh, up to 35 at the moment. So we got those, and then Lauren wants me to make her project bag, so how long is she going to wait for this one? I do not know. I'm still waiting. After <clears throat> I weeks. don't know, but she found this fabric that you wanted, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's very me. So it's just... this is what it. she wants. Very horsey related. And then you want this for the inside, don't you? Yeah, well, All my dad comments. actually helped me pick them out. So those one. two are going to go together. Um, with this and we so were her... having a little chat in the shop uh, because actually a woman owns loads of horses and anyway she was like I feel like blue would look good with that so yeah. she was very helpful so I went with blue and then you also chose this fabric yeah so there's this one as well again very horsey themed I love this one and she's chosen this fabric I don't think we got a zip for this, did we? No, because you wanted that one done the first, and one. she knows that I'm not. Although our caravan is being shut down in the next week or two, like when we finish here the week after that. So this is the last time we'll be coming here to stay. So after that, I'll be able to do more things at the weekends and stuff, um, mm -hmm. finishing and things. So, so yeah, they are all the haul and purchases and things. So we had a little bit of happy mail didn't we a lot of happy okay mail. you can you can start do you want to start with what you got from arlene because i got a little bit from that and then you can move on to the rest of the stuff that you got while i sit here and have a drink uh, excuse all the rest. so you had Indeed. some birthday stuff did you have a card from arlene did you mean? i did but i left it at home right so arlene while do is stitching in the fens on floss tube sent you some stitchy she did kind of stuff didn't she so there's this one 
little kit and it comes with like the card and stuff it's very cute there's also this penguin oh sorry this also comes with the cards <laughs> We were doing oh so well by the time. There's also this little robin. That's very cool. Super cute. She gave me these, which I absolutely love these. So they're like autumn Animal, animals. Aren't they? They're very, very cute. And it comes with like the leaf template. So if I wanted to do it like that, I could. Then there's this, which... I do really like this one, so it's a flamingo one, but it's like a foam case, which I think is quite cool. I definitely won't be doing it on that fabric, that's like a linen. That's an even weave. Or even weave. But that's fine, because I can You don't have to out. make it as a foam case, no, you can I just use that won't. fabric to use a back, as a backing fabric or something. Yeah, then she also got me this one, that is very cute. This one. Then she also gave me this little floss drop. Is that what it's called? It's like we're playing Jenga here. So yeah, with like some threads in there. And then she also got me a little bag, which I think is very nice. And blue is my favourite colour, so... That'll be put to good use. Not me. So that is what Arlene So then she sent me a few little things as well. So I also got a bag. So this is the bag. A little pouch bag with tassels. And that on the other side. So it's really cute. So I've got that. And then... A bag with um, different, like, Christmassy sort of finishing things. And then, look at this. This is cool. Spiderweb. Love that. Love that. And this. So, yeah, that is what I got. Thank you very much, Arlene. I appreciate it it very much so i'm going to hand over to lauren now because the rest of this segment is all yeah I feel stitchy very kindness from her from our lovely friends. friends on here okay so i i'm pretty sure because i didn't put them in bags when i got them so i'm pretty sure that um this is all from the people from what i can remember but it has been a while but i'm i'm pretty positive but if it isn't, I am sorry. So, from Kelly, from Stitch Addict, I think it is on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She got me a little mushroom floss drop. Some needles, which are 24 size. That's what we use, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And colour black, like the eye is the black bit. She also got me these scissors, which I think are very cool. They remind me of Grease, like Mamma Mia. I thought you meant Grease the movie. I was going to say, no. I thought that was pain. No. So there you go. And then she also got me some floss drops, but like fox themed, which are very cute. So there's like lots of foxes. I really like them. She got me quite a lot as well. Mm, there's quite a lot in there. Then there's this pattern from Lizzie Kate, and it's a snippet one, and it's called Plumpkin. I think that's very funny. So I got that one. I also got this one from Tiny Modernist called It's a Mermaid Life. This will look really good at the caravan because it's beach themed. I like that one. It reminds me of your. Under the sea. Yeah. And she got me a massive, massive 
chunk of 14 count aid i think it is but it's it has got sparkles you can see it there it's looking more blue whereas it's more green yeah but i am gonna do color i'm gonna do that on it it's definitely not showing true to life because that's showing more blue and it is definitely a aqua Aqua green color but i'm gonna do that on there but it's it's too big to unfold everything it's huge and very sparkly so I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. So that is what Kelly got me. So I do love everything. I can't wait to use it all now. And then you got something as well in here. Um, which I'll give you. Do you want to show yours? So Lauren got a, st a stitchy gift which I am extremely jealous of because this is amazing it is from ursula but she also sent me something as well and i really love this so i'm super happy thank you so i have a um collector's chart and it says snow it's what tiggers like best <laughs> and, and i really bouncing. like that so it's again another designer stitches chart but that will be going in my charts to start as well i'm gonna save from what she gave me the my favorite to last and show these first so she gave me some kits so it's this very cute little lopped eared rabbit one from the same brand arlene has a few of her things from yes arlene sent me some Don't yeah know, so I love that, it's really cute. And then she also sent me a corgi. These are, this one's got everything in there, but this one hasn't. But I absolutely love the corgi. So cute. And then... I'm to switch this one. Got this. And then, well I don't know if they come as kits. It's all say it's a kit, sorry. Uh, oh no. I don't know. Oh, it has the threads in it. It's just got the excess threads in there. Yeah. Okay, and then this is probably my favourite that she gave me. I can't believe it. I opened it and I was like, oh my gosh. Look at that. So, it's like a travel case. Today, but for a start, look at that hand-stitched that's been yeah. before she's even made it into anything and she knows lauren so well obviously <laughs> oh, I absolutely just love it. amazing so, so it's a pony smiling with colors in its hair looking a little bit crazy <laughs> and it says i feel pretty oh so pretty i just think that is so nice and so much like work has been put into it i love it so that is the front and then inside it's like a travel case. You made it into a, yeah. So obviously. Or even a home case, but I mean the fabrics yeah, that she's I'm chosen gonna... the outside and the inside match so well. Mm -hmm. So there's a zip, which obviously leads to this compartment. And then there's a good chunk of Put your files, in your patterns in. Yeah, so I'm very, very excited to use this and I can't really believe it. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, look at that. Look at the fabric on the back. And it's got loads of different ponies on. Which has been quilted as well. Yeah, I love like the square effect. So, thank you Absolutely so much. Absolutely amazing so talented mm -hmm. so appreciated yeah lauren's face was really and we have actually you've messaged everybody and said thank I you have. haven't you but um yeah we well you can't say thank you enough can you really no. everything that so appreciative from people who only know us from doing mm -hmm. these and a lot of time and effort and thought has gone into yeah. um, sending things for, for Lauren's birthday. And she really appreciates it. You really do appreciate it, don't you? So this will be making an appearance on the channel. Because I will be putting stuff in it. 
I'm very, very happy with it. So thank you, Ursula, for everything. And thank you, everyone, for all my gifts. Yeah, I'm just thinking of Lauren, day. putting the time and effort in, sending things. Mm -hmm. um, hugely appreciated. And she's now going to go off and start using things and putting things Finally. away to use and stuff. So a lot of it will be even be used here now. Yeah. So very appreciative. So that is all of our stitching stuff isn't mm -hmm. it um again this is going to be another long video so we do appreciate it we're hopefully going to be going back to doing Fingers more frequent crossed. videos um when things start getting back to normal um in terms of plans and things we're just gonna i'm gonna carry on with my terrifying tuesday winnie the pooh wednesday and um festive friday hopefully uh, do my arctic animal sale we'll be doing our october calendar sale we'll be here probably some new starts knowing us um just stitching to keep calm enjoy ourselves here and the sun is shining here it is i'm excited um, we've got some lovely week. lovely lovely views um we have got to go shopping so we're not it's gonna tea time. <laughs> it is tea time yeah so um, but what plans have you got? Similar things? So, just stitching yeah, it. just stitching what I want really and start some new things that people gave me. And maybe finish some stuff. Hopefully. Maybe. But I'm glad that my mouse is done now. Yeah, you feel better now. I do. So if that's all you are, have come for is the stitchy stuff um, and the haul and things, thank you ever so much. We really do appreciate it. Um, your support and you coming back to spend some time with us mm -hmm. um and thank you for being with us this long if you've stayed this long again um we've just got a little bit of life update um but otherwise we'll hopefully see you in again in a couple of weeks time i really hope it's a couple of weeks time because we need I to get back to some be. sort of normality now where um things are so if you're leaving us now, take care, happy stitching, have a couple of good couple of weeks and um, we will see you again soon. Mm -hmm. If you are going to stick around and listen to some of our life update, we're not going to, I'm not going to drag it, drag it on because it's, you know, life has been life really. Um, if you were here the last time. Some of mine's exciting. Yeah, I'll go through the horrible things or the or the <laughs> mm, things and Lauren yeah. can finish with some good stuff. So leave it on a good note. Yeah. The last time you were with us, obviously I said that we had lost a, a dear friend or a friend of my husband's to cancer very suddenly and very quickly. Um and we were going to the funeral, which we did do. Um you came as well, didn't you? It did. was literally packed out, like the sem the crematorium was standing room only and people were left outside it was really really busy um it was a beautiful send-off um and her husband did an amazing job of keeping things together and saying what he wanted to say so it was beautiful um and yeah uh still trying to support him knowing full well that everybody goes back to normal after all this goes on so um yeah there is that um i also told you that morgan my daughter lost her job thank you to everybody that um gave us wishes and things for her um she has now after all of this time of trying to get a job um and she's done a couple of days agency work um she has now got a job at a coffee shop about half an hour away from us so that is not really ideal because she's still struggling financially um from swapping obviously from losing her job and not having any income coming in um so it's not ideal however they took her on on her work merit not on they literally wanted her to show them what she could do um with with her coffee artwork and things like that and um that's how she's got the job there so um that is awesome she's having her first day today actually um and it seems like things are going okay i think she's just a bit concerned about um financial things because she gets paid monthly so it's going to be a bit tricky for her but 
she has a job and that's awesome so there is that um my mum i think i told you last time um she's now waiting on a hospital appointment um because they have figured out that she her arthritis is actually um pretty severe in her hip and it is bone on bone so it looks like she's going to need a hip replacement um how long that is going to take they did say it could take two to three years for her to get even get an appointment let alone anything else so i don't know what that looks like because she is in severe pain and in at uh, times so so there is that um yeah not sure what else there was really i've been ill had quite a bad cold yeah we've all had one of these well i've not really been ill ill but i've got sort of a head cold and then a cough that mm -hmm. keeps but you've been quite that i think that's what made my stitching go a bit out the window yeah you weren't feeling particularly great no. at all and then my eldest has had it as well um so it's gone around a little bit it's like you're it. coughing but then you feel sick when you're coughing but then you can't stop so it's, and you're it's a all bit bummed weird. up and yeah couldn't breathe it, properly so it's not very nice so that's one of the reasons why we haven't filmed earlier either is because it nobody wants to hear no because it was like a barking yeah, cough and as well coughing, it wasn't so. like yeah so nobody wants to hear that so yeah but you also went What's the year show? Yeah, so she, go on I then. did absolutely love that because what well, is in the NEC at Birmingham, and I went with my friends. So I stayed at hers the night before, um, and her mum came with us. Obviously, we went on the train, which I quite well. It, I felt nocturnal the whole day because we got up at like half four, and then when we went on the train, it was about six o'clock by the time we were ready and stuff and it was still dark obviously and then when you're in there there's not really windows there's like a door but there's not really windows so i couldn't see what if it was daylight so I, and then when we came back out it was turning dark again so i felt nocturnal but it was a very very good day i really enjoyed it hopefully next time i can do a bit more shopping though because i had quite a bit of money left over he did, but she has spent that on equestrian stuff. And also mm -hmm. she saved a bit to go to the retreat with. I also remember what Arlene gave you, some photographs from the she professional did. photographer yeah. at um, one of the shows she went to with her Which I actually shop. saw that photographer at Hoy's. You did, yeah. But she didn't have a stand. She was just there doing photos. Yeah. So I couldn't have a look at So around. she also loves those photos, Arlene. She was really there super cute the postcards that you mm -hmm. sent the photos so but yeah i had so a very very good day you did and then it was my birthday the day after that so and you got I was horsey so related stuff didn't you mm -hmm. all horse related stuff apart from when we went to the nimble thimble and she got so she got horse and stitchy stuff so you're super that's happy. really about it that i have in that my is life. her life yeah that's horse and happy. stitching but i like I like both them things, so, yeah. So I was very, very tired, and I just felt a bit jet-lagged, even though I didn't go on a plane, but I felt really, like, for the whole week, out of place. But it was worth it. I would definitely do it again. Oh, that's cool. You did so, yeah. some, made some cakes, didn't you, and took some cakes mm -hmm. um, to the yard where we do ride in with your pictures. We've got some, I got some... Um, little cake toppers made with um the horse she rides and the horse i ride mm -hmm. on them so Very you did cute. that so yeah so what else been doing working i've now broke up from work for uh, for a week so i'm going to enjoy that half term because yeah need it now um mm -hmm. but yeah we we're going on the retreat so a couple of weeks Excited. time it's the floss friends uk retreat which is run by sammy and um andrea as well mm -hmm. um we have an awesome time it's in Wotherham again um there's like no nerves now like no, every retreat we... i go to I'd, even the big stitch there was a little bit but then i just felt like i did just no need to be nervous really no we're staying at the hotel again aren't we but yeah 
I don't finish work until six o'clock on Friday, so we will not be getting there early it's at be all. It's going to be a bit um, dark by the time. But we are still going on Friday night because it's much nicer than waking up at, which is the first year we woke up, at, got on the road at like five o'clock in the morning or whatever to get there. But um, So we, we will be probably not there until late and then head straight up to the room, get some Food. sleep or whatever before... The weekend, but we're really looking forward to that, aren't we? Super. Yeah, forward. we are. So um. So yeah, I think that's it. Is We've that got it? to go shopping now. We have got to go. We've got to pack. Well, put all this stuff away, really, and go and do like some shopping. food shopping. Um, for the week, so we're gonna go and do that, and hopefully try and get this uploaded because I honestly do not know whether I'm how long it's gonna take or or when it will be uploaded but you'll we, see it when you see it yeah we needed to do it it's been mm-hmm. done um and yeah hopefully next time we'll be back in our usual place a bit more organized organized and um but i do think people like it when we're at the caravan we've got a few on our mini floss tube we've got a few people saying they enjoyed the view yeah and it's it is gorgeous out there I and mean, you it can is. see the shades from the sun um but it is beautiful. I feel like it's there. gonna be a nice. We're sunset. probably gonna have a nice sunset as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna let you guys go because again, it's been probably nearly two hours and an hour. I'm sure is more than enough with us two. Mm-hmm. Although we have been quite well behaved today. We have. Probably because we're a bit. These walls are very thin, so anybody could probably hear us. And also, you could probably hear noises from cars and yeah. doors slamming and stuff like that. So, um. But yeah, we are going to go um, and let you get on to your next floss tube. But thank you very much for being with us, spending time with us, because there are so many floss tubers. And also, we are so far behind with that as well. I mean... This week, we'll get on it. Hopefully, yeah. We'll sit here at night time, cosy up. I've got... My bed is in the dine, in the front room. Where we are sat. So, yeah, so I make my bed up. And sometimes at night time, we'll make the bed up, get the quilts out, get some... Um, little snacks, watch a film on TV and just cosy up, won't we? So we could we will. sometimes just get the table out, put floss tube on, maybe do a bit of stitching. Although the light goes really bad here, but um, but we've got a lamp over there. We have got a lamp, so with we're... the extension cable, it works very well. But my mum and dad and sister are coming to stay in mum and dad's caravan tomorrow, so so yeah, that'll be nice as well. And we've got to decorate for Halloween midweek. We have. I'll put. Oh, I'm not going to put some pictures up, but next time you'll see some pictures mm-hmm. because um, oh, I've got four boxes of Halloween decorations that we decorate inside and outside of the caravan. So and we carve pumpkins and stuff. We do. So next time you'll Apple have bobbin. you'll have some pictures, cake, uh, cakes. We might be even be making like a Beetlejuice themed mm. cake. Can't wait! I love Maybe. Beetlejuice. So we'll see, but you'll see some pictures of that. But um, yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you for all of your stitchy kindness and especially for Lauren's and birthday, birthday things. messages. And yeah, stuff. Um, we really do appreciate it mm. and the community is amazing and yeah, I'm, yeah, that we, you can't say any more than that really. We really do appreciate everything. Um, thank you for coming back with us. We hope you're all well and safe and um, getting stitching in, doing what you need to do. Um, and we will see you hopefully in a couple of weeks time we really fingers crossed it's a couple of weeks time but take care everybody and we'll see you soon Bye. bye